called Revelations, you know what I'm saying? Revelations 12. At birth, I was given the name. Peace. Here we go. Another day from the desk of Apocalypse Dogs to God's Entertainment with a quick word of reflection, a quick word of inspiration, a quick internal look, internal view of the process. You know what I'm saying? We will go in this book today again. You know I like sharing, okay? All right, so the sixth step in this book, Walking the Road to Recovery, Nine Steps in Motion, is patience with the process. And it starts out like this, bob and weave, stick and move, plant and swing, use the whole ring. <laughs> this step begins in this manner because the walk on the road to recovery is like a prize fight. The prize is freedom from self-destruction and self-abuse. The fight is internal. A good fighter studies the opponent to discover their strengths and weaknesses. This is what these steps are designed to do with one's self. The objective of the fighter is to establish a game plan to protect themselves from the strengths of their opponent and capitalize off of their weaknesses. Hmm. If the opponent fights a consistent fight and this fighter sticks to the game plan, there's a good chance for victory. With this in mind, you should be the last person that you want to fight. Why? Because you know all of your strengths and all of your weaknesses. Picture that, the bell rings, ding. You go center ring and look up to face your opponent and it's you on the other side. Hmm. That's an easy win. That's an easy knockout. You might as well throw in the towel. The point is that the more you beat yourself up, the more frustrated you become in striving to overcome the difficulty that you face. You don't want frustration to walk you into self-doubt. This can take you completely out of the fight. Understand this process as the battle of your life that you must win, fight to win, visualize yourself reaching the goal, imagine how it feels and embrace the feeling. Imagine being free of drug addiction, being able to accomplish your goals and aspirations. Hmm? Imagine having the lifestyle that you desire to live, free and clear of drug abuse. Have a strong desire, knowing that desire feeds the will. All of this takes extreme patience <laughs> you know i chose to read this aspect of the book to prove a point that it's it goes beyond drug addiction <laughs> this is something being patient with, with the process can be used in any aspect of our lives because we there's always a process that we're involved in like on all, all levels in all endeavors we're in a process to achieve this a process to achieve that you know and the the more we grow you know what i'm saying the more we have to understand that we have to have patience with process it's no abracadabra, everything, nothing happens, just boom, like hocus pocus or poof, here, there it is, right? No, it's a, it, we have to be patient with the process. So, I know, I know, I know, you're after something, I'm after something, you know what I mean? And we make mistakes, you know what I mean? And we can easily get frustrated 
but we have to have patience with the process. Keep moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Keep painting the picture in your keep painting the picture in our minds, you know, and go get it. Go get it. That's our word today for the Desert Apocalypse. Go get it. Don't let frustration stop you. You know what I'm saying? Look, you, we said bob and weave, stick and move, plant and swing. Use the whole ring, right? Hey, take a knee if you have to. Get that eight count. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just answer the last bell so we can raise our hands in victory. All right? That's our word today for the Desert Apocalypse. Look, um, if you're in Chicago, we at the foodie spot, 7350 South Stony Island Avenue. Come on through, show some love, show some support. Share, 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 share. Let somebody know that we there. You know what I mean? All right, enjoy your day. Peace.